Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. So today I am talking about my five best and worst purchases of 2022 so far. And surprisingly, this was like one of the easiest lists to ever come up with because I knew off the top of my head the five things that I've been like, oh my gosh, life-changing and the five things that I literally like don't even have because they either returned or they are in the garbage. So everything I'm talking about is gonna be linked in the description bar below. Of course, I don't recommend buying the things that are terrible, but you may have a different opinion on them, so I will still have them linked down there, um, along with hair, makeup, outfit details, the whole nine. And I do want to preface that if you are watching this and I kind of make a reference to like being pregnant or my pregnancy, I am actually pre-filming this so that I can take some time off when I have my son. Um, so if you are watching this, then you know that our sweet little Ezra has made his way earthside and we are just in baby heaven. So this is a pre-filmed video. I am still very much so pregnant, but wanted to go ahead and share that just in case there is a little bit of confusion and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'll start out with the five best, of course, because they're the best. And I actually have two foundations here. I have really been kind of leaning in heavy on the beauty department just because I think that simplifying my five minute like makeup routine has been awesome, but I do still want to kind of try out new makeup. And it's something that I just find like really, really fun. So first and foremost is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I think I shared this in my February favorites, I believe. It is so good. I had absolutely no expectations for this. I think the sun just went behind the clouds. But it's getting a little darker in here. Um, I had absolutely no expectations for this. I actually was honestly a little bit not really in the mood to try it because it said light reflecting. And to me, the word flashback just kept coming up in my head. And I was like, I just don't see how that can be good. And like, also, is it going to be good on oily skin? And I wear this all the time. It is such a good foundation. I'd say about medium coverage. Um, you can build it up a little bit, but definitely a medium coverage. I wear the color OSLO Light 1 um, in this, and it actually is a ton of foundation. It is, you get a full one fluid ounce, which is 30 milliliters. Um, for this and it does have a pump for the actual foundation itself But I have just been super impressed with this because it is just such a gorgeous wear and the longer you wear it The better it looks now. I also have another foundation This is the Tarte shape tape cloud coverage and I thought this was a actual like shape tape kind of other form But I did a lot of googling and found out it is actually foundation The only thing is it looks very orange in the bottle and it is actually not orange on the skin um, I wear 16 B fair light beige and it is a gorgeous color. And I feel like Tarte really can do no wrong when it comes to palettes. Um, their mascaras are good, not my favorite. I feel like they're expensive for, you know, the, the quality. I think you can get stuff that's cheaper, that's a little bit better. Their lip products are the end all be all, but they cannot make good foundations. I, I just, I found two this year, this Shape Tape one and then the powder one, the Amazonian clay. I don't know what it is, but just in my opinion, Tarte cannot cannot get foundations right. So the fact that I like the powder one was a shock, but the fact that I love this one so much that I'm reaching for it sometimes even more than this one is completely mind-blowing to me, but it is really, really good. I do think it applies best with a beauty blender, um, but it is fine with a brush. Okay, the product that I... I just... It's like almost comical at this point how many times I've shared water bottles here on my channel. They make it in like every monthly favorites. They make it in Amazon videos. You guys know like just I always have a water bottle with me. If you see me and I don't have a water bottle something is wrong. Check on me. And I bought the 50 ounce one of these when I got pregnant but it was so 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 big that I just it can't fit in like a cup holder and it's really massive. So actually this is the 40 ounce and it does fit in a um, cup holder in your car. And now that I'm just a little bit more busy I did want something that could fit in my cup holder but also I see everyone talking about this Stanley water bottle that's like $40. I just am a little confused because it's like a $40 water bottle. And I think like water bottles are one of those things like if you can find something that keeps your ice. I actually have had this ice in here for well over, oh, there's no water in it. That's why the ice is like completely full. Um, maybe that's why. But if it keeps your water cold, your ice frozen, or your, you know, drink hot or whatever, um, and it is that same, like, I just can't understand paying $40 for something when you can get the exact same quality product in something else that is cheaper. So I did purchase this this year because I wanted something that could fit in my cup holder, um, but it's the same brand as that big pink one. It's the Reduce brand, and I love this. You can get it at Amazon or Target, um, so I'll link it below, but I do recommend, like, price checking both. Like, click on both if you're wanting to buy one because sometimes Target does have them at a cheaper price. 
price, um, but sometimes Amazon has more color options. So just depends, but I love my reduced water bottle. And seriously, if you, if you see me and I don't have a water bottle, like I am not well, something is wrong. This, I can't even really like, I it's, it's, how do you, this is why sometimes I don't hold products up on screen. This is the Swiffer like duster. Okay. I don't really know how to like, I'm just gonna put it down. It's the best thing ever. One of the girls that I kind of chat back and forth with a lot on Instagram, Amanda from Sweet Style of Mind blog, um, she actually shared this tip on her TikTok and I was like, that is genius. Why have I never done that before? And you actually take, this is a Swiffer duster like for your floors and she actually uses the Swiffer duster on her walls. And I was like, here I am having to dust my walls just cause you need to get cobwebs up there. If you have like animals, it can kind of get just like their fur can get stuck to the paint. You just need to kind of wipe your walls every now and then. And I was like, what am I doing? Stretching and like straining using a duster or like wiping the walls with an actual washcloth when I could literally stand in one position and just very easily dust my whole house. So I have been doing that probably about every other weekend since the start of the year when I purchased that. And I love it. It has just been one of my favorite purchases because I did not realize just one, how dusty my walls get at, like as fast as they do, but two, just how much easier it can be to actually like dust your walls. Just like you have to dust everything else in your house, you gotta dust your walls too. And finally, this monster of a thing. So I know I talked about this in my February favorites. This is the Caraway. This is actually the saute pan, I believe. Um, so this one does come with a lid, but I brought this one in here because I used the fry pan this morning. So I actually took a picture of it. This is what it looked like right before I started cooking. So like I pulled it out from the cabinet, completely clean. And this is what it looked like as soon as I was done cooking my breakfast. So there was like no time in between here. I didn't take it even off off of the stove, haven't washed it, haven't rinsed it out. That is exactly what it looks like. So what I really like about Caraway is that it is nonstick and non-toxic and it can be kind of confusing because you tell people like non-stick things are a lot of times very toxic. You just have to be careful and really check the quality of things. So we purchased the green pan set in January of 2021 and we were very happy with it. It's a very affordable set on Amazon, um, but it did start to chip after a year and we are very like careful with our stuff. So I didn't feel safe using it. And I also loved the always pan that was significantly more expensive. But when our green pans started to chip, I was like, okay, I need to find something that is, you know, a little bit better and is going to last a lot longer because literally we paid like, I think, I don't remember exactly how much the set is, but we paid this money and literally got one year of use out of it. So that was really frustrating. And the always pan looked brand new. We also bought that last January. So I went to our place, which is where you can purchase the always pan and they actually actually did not have any options available in a bigger size. As far as like a fry pan goes, you just have the always pan. And then I think like the pot. Um, and so I wanted something that was of different like size variation. So I went to Caraway and I have been absolutely floored with the quality of these. Um, the only thing is just that they don't match. So if you like, you know, you can't really go wrong one way or the other Caraway or always pan if you are looking for a nonstick and very non-toxic um, product. But you know, always pan only has like two options, so they're not going to match, but I wish I would have gotten Caraway to start with just because I do kind of wish they matched, but I love the fry pan and the saute pan that we have from them. They are just, they're truly unmatched and we use them every single day when we are cooking dinner and I love them so much. Like Caraway pans are superior in my opinion and it just really bums me out because I like green pan was so affordable, but also non-toxic and they chipped. Okay, so those are the five best products. Now let me talk about the five worst. And first I want to start out with this adorable blank NYC jacket. And I say adorable because I thought it looked adorable on everyone. I thought this was the cutest jacket. And I searched and searched and searched from the day that I saw it in the Nordstrom sale in July. It went out of stock, never really came back in. I purchased one, I think in like November or December and it was on back order till January. So it finally came in in January and I put it on. It was laughable. I don't even think I have a picture of it. I know I put it up on Instagram, but I asked you guys like what you thought if I should get rid of it. And so many of you were like, girl, that jacket is atrocious. And I don't know why, because it looks so good on every person that I've seen it on, but on me, it was an absolute disaster. Like I, oh, it was so bad. I don't know if it was my bump and just like making it look bigger in the front. I don't know if it was the way I was dry. It was so bad. And the fact that I spent like months looking for this jacket because I wanted it so bad, found it and it was a total flop, really bummed me out. So 
If you have this jacket and it looks cute on you, I'm jealous. The Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. Hot garbage. I tried that out and I was super excited. Again, like Tarte can do no wrong when it comes to like lip products. Their palettes are amazing. Their blushes are amazing. But I have tried so many foundations that are a flop and I had such high expectations for that one because it had the word shape tape in it, just like this one does that actually is really good. It was hot garbage. It like broke up on my skin. It made my pores look huge. It kind of like came off around my nose. It just looked terrible. And that was one that I returned because I could not in good faith keep that. And I told you guys on Instagram, I was like, I I'm just so bummed. Like, I can't believe that I have searched and searched and searched for a good Tarte foundation and I still haven't found one. So to finally have one that I can share with you guys makes me happy. Don't mistake this. This is the Shape Tape Cloud Coverage, the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. E which is so shocking because Shape Tape itself, like the concealer, is the best out there. Baby Gannix Stain Eraser. Okay, so I have tried a couple, like basically what we've got at this point is we have done a ton of research on products and Sam and I both had sensitive skin as babies, so we kind of suspect our child will have sensitive skin. Babies just in general have sensitive skin. Um, so there are a couple different lines that, you know, we're willing to try and we kind of just want to see what works with Ezra the best. And so we like Baby Gannick stuff. I got into Baby Gannick stain remover and I ended up using it on some of my stuff. I actually tried, I can't think of the one that I have tried that's really really good. Um, I will put a picture up of it on the screen though. That one is thebomb.com. But the Baby Gannick Stain Eraser does nothing. It, it literally, like I tried it on my sweater and I was like, it's just like I just put product on my stain. Like it's now just a wet stain and it just doesn't work. And so I'm glad I got to try that out before the baby came because now we don't even need to know if like he makes a mess. We're not even gonna bother trying that on his stuff. We're just gonna use the um, spray that I do really love that I've used on all my stuff that actually I took it out of his nursery. I saw on TikTok you can keep like a spray stain remover and whenever they have like a blowout or you know anything that you think you can still save the onesie um, but it does have stains on it you just spray that on there immediately when you're taking it off of them and then throw it in the hamper. So I actually removed one of those to our laundry room and now Sam and I have our own bottle that we use because it is the best. But Baby Gannix stain remover just ain't it. Another thing is this baby wipe dispenser. I don't know what I like. This is one of those things that's like it's a cute aesthetically pleasing thing but like it, it just adds an extra step that was like really annoying. So I know some people really like these but for me I at the time of filming this I'm still pregnant and I can already tell you I got so fed up with this thing I threw it away. It was such a waste of time so if you are pregnant if you like are making your registry anything like that don't add a like dispenser to your actual registry because for me it was just so much easier to just I was like doing something the other day and I grabbed a wipe out I and mean, I was wiping something down and I was like god it's just so much easier to just have the little pack there and they all have those like hard plastic um, little lids to them. So I just felt like it was just an extra step and it just seemed kind of like a waste of money. Um, so I actually, what I did was I gave it to my mom and I was like, here, you're, you know, grandma, you use it, you keep it at your house, you won't use wipes as much and it will look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than just like a regular set of baby wipes just hanging out on the counter. Okay, these socks. So I am someone who, if I am wearing a closed toe shoe, has to have a pair of socks on. I can't go without socks. It just, I tried, I can't do it. And so I've had to get some no-show socks. I found some from Nordstrom before they're fine, but what I find is the ones that are no-show that like barely hug over your toes, they're not always the best quality. I think it's just because they are so thin, but these, one, do not stay on your feet. Not at all, like not even a little bit. And two, they like shredded within a first use. So I wash everything obviously before I wear it. You definitely need to wash everything before you wear it. When people talk about in the review section about wearing things before they wash them and like the chemical smell, I'm like, yeah, so take it off. Like take it off and wash it. That's, like, oh my gosh. Um, but they shred it. Like I got one out of the dryer and it already had a small hole in it and I was like, Okay, and then when I wore it by the end of the night I had a huge hole and I was like, okay This is just completely irrelevant like at this point I might as well just go barefoot So these are definitely one of those purchases that I was just I couldn't even return it because they were half ruined So I'm still struggling to find like thicker no-show socks that actually work because I seem to find that any of those socks Like just barely go over your toe and your heel. They just don't they don't last long and it's kind of annoying 
Okay, so that was it for today's video. I think we kind of did get through that one really fast. Um, it was just 10 products, five best, five worst, and I really would love to know what your like best and worst product is that you have in the comment section. Let me know because I'm always looking for one things that like people swear by and like say are the best end all be all, but I also kind of want to know what to avoid. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you're new here. Love you guys so much and I hope that I see you in my next video.